Hey guys, welcome to VTech. Basil here, and we've finally got a Nexus 6P in. What you hear in my voice is actual, genuine excitement. So the Nexus 6P is one of the flagships from Google. This one's made by Huawei. This one's made by LG. We got the 5X in last week. Went crazy in love with elements of it. The 6P promises to be the better of the two devices. This is an unboxing video though. Before I jump into the unboxing, subscribe to the channel and you will be able to stay on top of all our individual elements around the 6P gaming camera before etc. We'll put all those through tests. Now the box. You can see, very similar to the 5X, you've got this kind of film on the front, this sleeve. Right hand side you can see it's made by Huawei, powered by Android. On the back you've got some pictures. A picture of the device front and back. Um, you can see some product information as well. It's available in three sizes, 32, 64, or 128 gig. I would recommend the 64 gig version. It comes in at 499 pounds. The one to weigh is a whopping great, big, expensive 579 pounds. Um, and the 32 is 449. 32 is probably a bit too small if you're gonna use this phone for in excess of a year. We've got the 32 gig version, but ours is a review device, so that's not the end of the world. I'm gonna slide this out. Oh, it's clearly stuck, so what I'm gonna have to do is peel the sleeve away and unveil the box itself. So you can see we've got this cardboard just like we did with the 5X and it has some quick start instructions. So just a navigation around the device, you can see it's got the power connector, the one we've got, um, and a SIM card slot. Like I said, no micro SD expandability. So this is our third USB Type-C device. The first being the OnePlus 2, the second being the 5X, and now we have the um, 6P. UK plug, um, don't know the speed of the plug in terms of the output. Um, it is a five volt, three amp out, so should be relatively nice and snappy. Now I'm gonna take this out of its plastic um, and power it on and let you look at the boot up screen, after which I'll take a look inside the box and then take a tour around the device, which feels really good in my hand, by the way. Okay, that sounded dodgy. That boot up screen was heaps quicker than the Nexus 5X and most devices around. Um, I'll take a closer look at the 6P shortly, but before I do, you can see Google Play Music free for 90 days. If you have used this promotion before, this will not count as a very, very kind commenter pointed out. He was caught out with this one. You can also see uh, another kind of booklet with a SIM eject pin and safety warranty information as well. Pulling that out, and what do we have here? That's so, so random. We've got a smaller USB Type-C, um, so that's beyond convenient. I guess Google realizes that these will probably be most people's first two. Um, so rather than just pack one, they pack two of different lengths, as this is the more premium of the two devices. Good going, Google. Right, now let's talk around the phone. The 6P has a 5.7 inch Quad HD display, pixel density of 518 pixels per inch. You've got stereo front facing speakers, you've got an eight megapixel camera as well. Um, and in addition to that, it's an all metal body. Feels really, really premium. It feels big, it feels like a beefy device, but the nice flat sides make it quite comfortable to hold. It's cold, it's stark, it feels expensive. So I'm really, really kind of glad that Huawei got to showcase what they can do design-wise with this, it is really better than anything I've seen from Huawei today, but reminiscent of a lot of other Huawei devices. On the right-hand side, you can see you've got a power button and it's a textured power button, so your finger should be able to find it. Not super textured, so not super easy, but it does protrude nicely. You've also got a smooth volume rocker as well. Down at the base is that USB Type-C left-hand side. You've got a slot, that's for the nano SIM slot. Up at the top, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Around the back is that camera loaded up with optical image stabilization, a dual flash, and a fingerprint scanner. And if this performs anything like the Nexus 5X, a fingerprint scanner will work a treat. I'm gonna position the camera ever so slightly up so that I can bring in another phone that you might be interested in. This is the Nexus 6. So anyone who has a Nexus 6 and is looking for a kind of rough size comparison, the six inch Motorola device actually has a similar height to the 6P. The 6P is in fact 
a little bit longer, at least it looks it, if not exactly the same height. Um, you can also see side on the nice curvaceousness of the Motorola is something missing from the 6P, but the 6P has flat sides, it's got a narrower form, making it generally easier to hold. Um, I do love the Nexus 6, but the Nexus 6P is really the cutting edge of Nexus phablets. If you enjoyed this video, then click that thumbs up button and subscribe. Like I said earlier, that is how you're gonna stay on top of everything that we do around this phone. Obviously, if you do like BTEC, wanna fire us any questions, anything about this phone, just shoot them in the comments section below. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and yeah, that's basically it. Thanks for watching.